Hi guys, Detective Jim. Hi Detective Paul, we're out again for you. Hi guys, Detective Jim and Detective Paul for two. First video you've definitely got to watch. Second video, new permission. We've hopped over a field of tea. Jim said, Whoa, we'll stop here. There we go. There's a duck over there, Luke James. Two ducks over there, mate. See? And you wouldn't see things like that if you didn't come out. This is we bring you gone. history, we bring you Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one is ours. I uh, we call this the Whispering Field. Uh, Jim does. Well I call it the Whispering Field because you hear voices. So yep. So we're on I this think one. Jim's just losing his mind. We're on this one, we've not been on this one for a while. Been on once we've been on it. We've been on. We've not been on it with the new machines. You find silver on here, aren't you? Yeah, I found a couple of silvers. Uh, with the uh, Garrett uh, 250, 250 it? yeah. So we're going to try it on this. So we'll catch you on the first hole. On to the next. Right, guys, first target. And it's this. Uh, I haven't got a clue what it is. Anyone knows? Yeah, I've not got a clue what that is. Hmm. It's a mystery. Hey, Jim. Hey. See all this straw? Yeah. Eh? And mud. We're digging up and it's straight Romans made brick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't got a clue what guys. Right, catch on the next one. Well, guys, five minutes in, and I think I've got an interesting piece of something. I'm just trying to clean it off now. But it looks like it's got design on. There. And I'm wondering if it's part of a crawl program. Let's get a clean off. It's definitely got some sort of pattern. I'm sorry about the camera shit there. See if anybody knows. Post below. Alright guys, both got target. Looks like it. Umbrella slide. Yeah, it could. It's just been squashed, hasn't it? Oh, I don't know, mate. It won't show a green patina like that, has. Huh? It won't show a green patina like that, has. Interesting finds. Alright guys, catch on next one. Well guys, I had a cracking signal then. Solid 81, solid. Bloody shrapnel. Are you off? Cheers. Are we on? Yeah. Well guys, me and Jim's just been over there. Cracking signal. Dun 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 dun. The musky ball. Now that's where there is real history as well. Just in that little musket ball. There. Eh, amazing. Big and tea. On to the next. Hi guys. My heart went ten to a dozen just. Found a target. Cracking signal. Digging it out. And I see that. I thought it was a ring. But it's not. And it's got threads in the bloody middle of it. <laughs> My heart went ten to a dozen. Yeah, just a piece of pipe in it by the looks of it. Yeah, but I thought it was a ring. Never mind. Catch on next. A bit of shrapnel. Solid 82. Perfect signal, shrapnel. On 
Truex. Right guys, got no target. It's nothing really special. But I think that's a heel of a shoe. Or it could be a shoe of a horse. One or the other. Yeah, nothing special. Right, catch on next one. Four all but in the park. On to the next. Hi guys, got a target game. Came over to 76, 77. And it's just a bit of a draw handle. Yeah, nothing much. Right, catch on next. Can you talk camera for me, Jeff? Yeah, right, guys, uh, just come across a signal. What are you getting? Solid 60, 61. What the hell was coming back, James? 61, six, solid, yeah, wasn't six, it? Yes, right. I don't right. think it's one of them. But it's right on the surface and we can see it. And it's just there. There you go, look at that. Come pick it, James, see what it is. There you go. Got a number or something like that. Got some spit and polish, James. Uh, that's heavy, that. I'm not using my toothbrush, it bloody messed it up. Hmm. Here, James. Something mate, but what it is I haven't got a clue. Send it to all things lead in it. Yeah. Give it a good clean later on, send me a picture. Yeah. Right guys, lead anomaly. Uh I'll try and get a close up. It's not really clean but I'll send a picture later on. You can see it's lead. When I turn it over, it looks like there's lettering, but I'm not too sure. So if anybody can give me any notes, I reckon all about the lead people, what are they called again? All things lead. All things lead, they always help us out. So yeah, on to the next. Right boys and girls, my target's down there. I pulled it out, and there we go. I think that might be a military button. Gold gilded on it. Yeah, it's an anchor. Yeah, definitely military button that, guys. See, can I get it away? Give me a minute. Yeah, look at that. Definitely a military button. Cool. Pause just that. I'll catch on the next one. Right guys, my target was uh, there. I moved out because I was sinking. And... Part of an old pocket knife. Cool. Uh, part of an old pocket knife, guys. Right, we'll catch on the next one. Well guys, Jim's over there just dealing with a bit of a, he can't find the signal. And I'm down here, solid 61. I'll just show you. Is that it? <coughs> solid signal. And our surprise is a coin. Me thinks. Oh no, no, it's not. No, it ain't. It's a booby fly. It's a roof rivet. I 
think. Let me clean up and get back to you, but I think that's what it is. Rivet! Rivet! Bloody rivet! Oh, on to the next. Right, boys and girls, got to tag it there. And I think it's half a coin weight. Well, I'm not sure. Might be a piece of lead. Uh, I think there is a pattern on it. I'll get a proper clean when I get home. Right, catch on next. Well, guys and girls, I think I may have found something. Let me just give it a clean up, but I think it's a watch winder. Give it a clean up. Well, guys, check it out. It looks like it's got writing on. I think that'll be a crown at the top. I'm not sure. Uh, may have something on the back. But yeah, I'm having that's a watch winder. Or the fob off a watch chain. But yeah, once I get it cleaned up and I see you under the microphone scroll, I can see what it says then. But yeah, top, top relic. On to the next. Well, guys, and that's not a surprise. Going from there. End of the street. Looks like it's pewter. Nothing on the back. On to the next. Hi, guys, got no target. It was around about this side. Pulled it out. And it's a lead button. Holes in the milk. That's pretty cool that. Yeah, a lead button. Right, catch on next. Hello boys and girls, well, that's it for us. Uh come show you what we've got. Uh, this side is all Paul's and this side is all mine. Right. Fit Paul's on that yet. It's I've got a pan on it, guys. Uh, yeah, but not too sure what it is. Could be some kind of bell or something, I don't know. Colour musket balls, piece of pipe, or washer. Colour buttons, this here, we haven't got a clue what it is. So, yeah. A bullet, whatever that is. That's off an old tap. Five feet, bit of a spoon, and I think Paul's very fine. Is his uh, watch fob? I'll turn it clean. Yeah, I told Paul clean it up very carefully. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Fine. Right, I have to be quick because my battery's going on my camera. Uh, piece of a watch, a uh, piece of uh, a knife, whatever that is, clay pipe. Yeah. Just lots of bits and bobs for me guys. Uh not got a clue what that is. Uh that's a ring. Uh, my best find is this military button and the lead button. Right, guys. From Detective Jim. And Detective Paul. Whew, we've had enough. Yeah, we had enough for going home now. Sunday dinner so, time, isn't it, James? Yep. Yeah. So we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one. Bye for now.